The Warriors once held a 2-0 series lead in this one. Now they're trying to avoid going down three games to two. Daniel Craig's been strong in this series for Orangeville. He's added again here just over two minutes into the game. He scores unassisted to give the Northmen a one-goal lead. Austin Shanks was the regular season scoring champion. They're going to need all the goals they can get from him and everybody else for that matter in this tight checking game. Put that one on the board, tied at one. Down 2-1 to one now, Garrett Eddy gets some running space in alone on Christopher who turns him aside. Second period, Riley Thompson catches the post behind Mike DeGirolamo. At the other end, Christopher, nice stop on Bryce Yetman, but he pounces on the rebound and gets the tying goal. MDG with the stop here on Thompson in close. The Northman can't corral the loose ball, and that is big as Whitby would quickly transition. Tristan Rye to Matt Hossack to Kanan Cook to the back of the net. Whitby with their first lead of the game. It is 3-2. However, that lead did not last a minute. Trevor Smythe breaks in with Ian McKay. He goes high and scores over the shoulder of DeGirolamo, tied up at three apiece. Whitby power play just comes to a close. They score as Braden Davis hits the floor again. Bennett Drake feeds Dawson Feed. It's 4-3, to three, and that's the way the second period would end because Craig, who makes a beeline towards goal, disrupted just enough by Garrett Eddy to force the shot off the mark. Third period, Whitby fine allowed to move the ball the way they want. It pays off. Shanks the trigger man here. A precious two-goal lead for the Warriors. Eddie doing work while shorthanded. Barges in on goal, but Christopher turns him away. He did a lot of that in this third period. Connor Laird victimized here. Then Ryan Keenan. That had to be the stop of the series so far. But Whitby won't be bothered too much as they get the result they needed in a low-scoring affair. 5-3, to three, and they own a 3-2 to two series lead. It's tough to get inside. You know, there's a lot of grabbing, a lot of holding, a lot of interference. So um, you got to really grind things out to try and get goals, and uh, we did. I mean, we stuck to it and thought we had lots of good chances. I thought defensively that we were great. We really kept everything to the perimeter. You know, Mike did a good job making those saves, and... Uh, um, I thought their goalie was outstanding too. He made a couple of phenomenal saves, and um, but you know what? That's that's the way it's going to be. It looks like we, get, we don't get uh, that many opportunities against this defense, but when, the ones we did, the ones we did create, you know, we got to shoot better. That's for sure. Um, you know, they don't. We don't. When we got we got to embrace those opportunities and really make the most of them. And you know, five goals in any game, you know, it's usually not enough. So we're lucky. We're fortunate enough to get enough defense tonight to get it done.